<laughs> All right, thank you so much for staying with Daybreak. You just got us in time speaking to Agnes Nonsizi. She's a publicist and a TV presenter as well. Thanks for making time for us, Agnes. How, how are you holding up right now, actually? Um, it's it's tough, uh, but we are holding up. We're keeping positive. We're keeping the hope that things are gonna get better. Yeah. But of course, there's the panic of um, of course finances because once you're in the house and you can't uh, move the social distancing, our business is heavily reliant one on uh, networking and two on the media, and we can't do media tour right now. So definitely, I've been panicking. I cannot deny the fact that there's been panic. There's been fear of the uncertainties. So these uncertainties that you're talking about, because now you can't move to the media, everything is about the coronavirus. How are you yeah. su- substituting that for you to have a long-term sort of sub- subsistence or survival? So for now, if you know uh, the kind of job that we do, music publicist, we are the link between the artist and the um, I mean, and the media once they release music. So what you're trying to do is we are, uh, we are doing something that is called a soft release where we just send music. Uh, we send it to the media, but there's not going to be a media tour, which has really affected artists a lot because media tours really help. But what you're trying to do is just get a soft release, get the uh, blogs uh, and enter- entertainment blogs and music blogs to talk about the release. Uh, but also we ha- really have to push because everyone's attention has totally shifted from music and people are really really uh following um corona conversations so it's a bit tricky but we are trying yeah now that uh, biggest music festivals like coachella were actually cancelled how is it affecting your business right now oh my god it like the big let me give you for example i was to attend a very big uh, festival in west africa called femua which is a three-day festival the biggest festival in west africa so let me show you how it's trickling down probably to me uh, as an as a publicist because once an artist doesn't have money you know so once a gig is cancelled it means that the artists that were booked to perform they don't have money and remember the nature of our industry especially in kenya we our system is very not okay if i may say so at the artists who rely heavily on gigs so the fact that the gigs are not there our royalties let's not even go there we, we don't even know what <laughs> royalties are in kenya so once an artist doesn't have money for gigs they're not able to produce they're not able to release music so they're not able to pay me as a publicist to be able to publicize their music so that's how it's a whole uh, chain of it's affecting everyone yeah and now that you mentioned about the soft release tell me how that impacts the kind of the popularity of a particular song because now this is a time when you can't take the uh, the artist to studios how what is the difference between the soft release and when you could actually publicize the artist in studios how much of an impact does it have it, there is a huge impact. If you look at the data right now, I was reading online, if you look at it, the songs that have been released uh, actually um, like four months, even eight months before this whole conversation of Corona picked up, they are doing badly. They are performing badly because there's a whole role that media plays. The TV station, that show, when you appear there, when you push your song there, it there's a whole role that it plays. So right now, by the, even the time an artist is risking to release the music you have to have that conversation with them and tell them the impact is not going to be as much as as when the life is active and when the stations the radio the tvs we can move around and do interviews is so it is a risk but again you have to consider that their lives will not stop because there needs to be some visibility you need to continue going so there's a whole impact there's a whole disconnect you can't compare the soft release with the whole media tours that we do undertake yeah agnes you'd think that a time where there's a lot of distress in the country that's when Mm. we need entertainment the most yep 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 is that not the case 
unfortunately uh even though i was reading ab about it on spotify they are surprised because you think that the people when they are seated in the comfort of their houses they really want to listen to entertainment but remember we are not in a happy situation you know this is not christmas this is not the normal usual easter no we are at home because we have been forced to by this pandemic we are at home because we are distressed and we don't know what to do so actually what has happened some genres especially if you look at the streams some genres have hiked when you look at classic music when you look at children's music they have their streams have gone up but some genres like pop like hip-hop it has gone down so there's there's a whole disconnect but also remember people are at home because they didn't want to be at home they're not happy it's they've been forced to be at home yeah what about gospel isn't this the time when everybody is sort of looking at looking to god <laughs> yeah, yes <laughs> um you can look at it like that but again uh, to look for inspiration to look for motivation uh but uh, remember you can only listen to so much gospel music at a go also let's not have the gospel of Ke kenya music gospel music in kenya well there are very few songs that can really take you there but uh, it is you would think people are listening to music but in real sense yeah they have been declined in in entertainment yeah oh wow and agnes now the other thing is how do you use social media influencers at this particular point because most of the influencers that we use are themselves comedians so when when they promote an artist you're wondering are they promoting their craft or are they promoting their artist how, how do you how do you what, where do you draw the line on that social media influencers um actually what is a social, a social is media influence as someone who has an impact and who has a command in something once they say that so you're asking in regards to the music if you yes. if we can use them if, if the you music. can use them as an alternative because now the tv stations and radio stations are focusing on coronavirus then the other mm. option to sort of publicize your artist would be to use the influencers we most yeah. of them are comedians and are also doing their own craft so when you have an artist a for example promoted by comedian mm. b so which brand are they promoting are they promoting their own brand as a comedian or the artist how do you where do you draw the line first of all remember all these influencers they do it as a business mm -hmm. not unless you have someone who is a friend and you tell them yo i've released this song so please push it for me online yeah all the social that's a whole actually industry on its own that has been affected yeah. because social media influencers they do it for business and you see as an artist you want to think about do i pick this budget and pay a social media influencer or do i put it into youtube um what do you call it um youtube um, marketing or do i sponsor this link because yeah. you need to weigh the, the 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 options of who is going to deliver or not because remember again when it comes to influencing it's not about the numbers it's about the impact so and again these influencers need budget we could use them but again do artists have the money to spend on the on the influencers right now to push the music yeah do you see any sort of new opportunity on this going forward like new ways of maybe advertising new ways of promoting the artist is there any light at the end of the tunnel or should we just wait for the storm to pass well definitely there is light at the end of the tunnel because right now what we are seeing we are seeing a lot of online gigs you know people have resulted to going to your balcony picking your uh, your 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 instrument like what's out sold it the other day and they they're playing live gigs so this is a very good time for audience i mean for the audience and the fans to bond with their artists but again uh, we need to think about this, especially in Kenya. And uh, I want to chip in this conversation here because uh, in Kenya, the cre I mean, the creatives and the musicians, I don't know where they are placed. It is a very informal sector. If you look at other uh, countries like Germany, if you look at UK, I was reading about UK, their PRSP there has come in. It has an emergency fund for the artists. Germany has said that artists are very important right now and they have to pay rent and they have to pay for because right now we are dealing with the mere basics so i would want to say uh, we wait for the storm to pass but what can we do for this artist what can we do for our artists what can we do for ourselves because if you're gonna say we're gonna wait for the storm to pass how long is the storm gonna be there you know 
we are talking about mere basics like rent, like food. We are not even talking about moving around. These people, most majority of them have families. We do have families. How are we going to weather the storm? And you know, someone will talk about savings and everything. But if you've been in the entertainment business, you know how this thing operates. And also, we're going to, even if we have saved, are we going to eat into our savings until now we don't have, we don't know what to do anymore. So there needs to be someone who, especially the government, needs to look into this. And this is the time for the bodies that claim or quote unquote they represent artists that they lobby for the artists, the the the, the, the priests, the MCSKs. You know what are they doing right now? This is an opportunity for them to salvage the situation and to be in good books, if you ask me, with the artist because we have a we have a whole ministry. Uh, dedicated to us and the sports and the youth. What is going on? What is happening? Is, is the government thinking about the artists? Or this storm will, will, will go and then we're going to figure out how our life is going to continue and then we're going to go back to the same cycle. So this can be an opportunity to change things in this country, especially in the entertainment and the creative. And remember, we are, you know, we are talking even about film. You know, everybody, is, all the creatives are suffering. Film, fashion, we are all there not knowing what is going to go on. Makeup artist, the, someone who do, does sound, lighting, machine. so it is, I don't want to say we wait for the storm to pass because I don't know how long the storm is going to be there. So you're calling for an emergency fund, but have we heard anything from the guys like MCSK or even Nothing. speaking to the you artists? The problem. No one has said anything. No one has said anything. Think about it. I don't know how true this is because some, okay, South Africa, they injected a whole, I'm not sure, I need to confirm the figures, but they've dedicated a whole uh, amount of fund to their creatives. We are seeing other countries doing that. We cannot say that uh, we don't value our artists. And we are talking about a whole huge population. Yeah. MCSK, no one has said anything. Because even, we are not like I was reading about uh, PRSP in the UK, they are saying that the the funds are not go, going to affect this is not your royalties no this is an emergency fund that we have put we gone to taweka mikakati ambavyo mutakujia hii pesa so the royalties are still gonna come in in april but yeah. here is a fund to help you go through what and i'm telling you our money has been collected in this country where yeah. is it i usually say artist money is in everybody's pocket apart from their apart from theirs so they are, what do you mean by that? So everybody else has the money from everybody the artist and not in their pocket? money on behalf of the artist, apart from the artist themselves. <laughs> we have bodies that collect money. We have everybody, with the, we, you know, but no, the artists don't have money, you know. Yeah. We are having a conversation in this group where we are saying even the radios and the TV stations they've been playing, the bodies claim that the stations don't pay, the, the um, you know. So this is the time to, if anything, let us come out of this storm having streamlined what the artists are. If anything, if they're going to come out with anything, let us streamline this because if we have this, some, some sort of this thing again in the future, we cannot keep gambling with, with uh, the lives and the livelihood of artists. Yeah, speaking of streamlining, when you speak to them, what are they doing now to survive? Are people now eating into their savings? What are they doing to survive as we speak? Basically, uh, we are in the house, you know, because probably you you had a gig. The last time you played a gig was, say, or before they were banned. Yeah. Uh, we are talking about how many, um, let's say you, you had, and remember, this, is a, this was a low season from January, February, March. It's usually a very low season for the artist. If any artist played a gig, it's around maybe Valentine, because now gigs were starting to pick up from Easter onwards, you know. It was a low season because we've come from December, whole new year. And remember 20, um, 2019 was such a bad year economically. We can all attest to that. Like, mm -hmm. everything went downhill. The time we thought we were going to recover again, Corona comes in. So probably, if I'm not wrong, everybody is eating, sorry, eating into their savings if they had any, you know? Yeah. And then from there, are we going to start saying Serikali is idea? Are we going to start saying Serikali is idea? Yeah, that's, is, the, that's the main concern. But not... Now, Agnes, let me let me ask you, what, what do you think the corporate industry should do now? Because they're the most guys who've been sending emails of cancellations. I've seen myself, mm. some of them, cancellation of this gig, cancellation of that gig. How do they plug mm -hmm. in now to sort of help sustain the industry? Because there's a trickle-down effect. 
they don't have yeah. the gigs coming in it means they cancel for the artist and then it, it trickles down to your pocket as well how do you think they can plug in now to sort of help people stay afloat hmm. well we, uh, corporate there's not remember all of us are, are in a lockdown you know so as much as they want to do something one is what they can do is if you had if you owe an artist money you know their corporates if you know how corporates operate eh? they you do business and then you have 30 days 45 days to yeah. collect your money yes if you owe an artist right now start from there if you have an invoice that is pending start from there don't start the oh the accountant has gone oh zikakua. please pay them if you owe an artist if you're corporate let's start there two if you had booked them for a gig and it was cancelled if you had a depo deposit that you had paid this is not the time to tell the artist to refund the deposit because this is a scenario where it is beyond all of us this is you know this is the government that has decided there are no gigs that are going to be to be played so um let us do what all we can to help the artist and as, as because now even if the the things even if you need to give an advert you can't give an advert right now there's nothing that is going on but whatever you can be, be able to give you or an artist money pay them if you have a deposit that you had paid no rush if you need to postpone postpone it to a later date but again we are seeing um I don't know if Facebook can be named as a corporate, but they have injected a whole, uh, they've given a grant of uh, a whole, there's a whole grant. I'm, I'm, I'm looking at my notes and not seeing the figures right. For businesses and, and, and uh, small businesses especially. So if you're an artist and you have a limited uh, uh, company, you can be able to apply for that. You know, you never know. You're, yeah. yeah. And also yeah. the people who bought tickets now who are expecting to come to events now, should they not be demanding for a refund? Um, this is the ticketing industry. And um, you see, uh, like I know there's an event that I myself had paid for it and what to attend. But again, um, how much are we talking about? We're talking about maybe 2,000, maybe on the highest 5,000 Kenyan shillings, yeah? So uh, it depends. If we see the situation will prolong, uh, the ticketing company can decide, you know what, we are going to refund this money. So it's all, you see, like I said, we are in a whole uncertainties. We don't know what is going to happen between now and tomorrow. We don't know anything. But what I've been doing, we've been doing is preparing for the worst. So I wouldn't say you refer right now. It's it's we wait because there are gigs that are going to be postponed and you're still going to need that to come. Because remember, everyone is dealing with losses right now. So people need to, we don't know what's going to happen. Yeah. Mm. So now the, yeah. there's the other proposals that have been done by the government, maybe the pay as you earn reduced from 30 to 25%. VAT from 16 to 14 percent. Are you happy with those proposals or it doesn't do much for the entertainment industry? It doesn't do much. The only one that I know probably that might really help is the maybe the turnover, the from yeah. 3% yeah. to 1%. Eight that 1%, might yes. help a bit. Yeah. But for the payee, remember, like I said, artists don't fall anywhere. We yeah. even don't have a job group, if I may say we, because we are so many of us that have been employed by the artists. So mm. uh, what we were proposing is if you can have a, a whole, you scrap off the tax, especially for the um, limited companies that have to do with entertainment, like equal zero tax for the year 2020. Because if I have to remit tax for this year that has started, it's going to be it's going to be crazy because, you know, and also something else you can do, remove the withholding tax that all of us pay, you know. So that's at least we will feel it. But for the payee and everything, we haven't. We haven't felt the impact because we don't fall anywhere. Yeah. We are not employees, self-employed, but where do we fall in the job description? Nowhere. Okay. And the ministry yeah. hasn't and the ministry hasn't gotten in touch with any of the artists or publicists and told you anything from the conversations that we've been having because i've been in a group that has been very very having this conversation because i know there are um there, there's a process because we need to table what we need to be helped i yeah. know there are people that are working on that but yeah. it is going to be an initiative from the artist to the ministry and if that's the case so let it be if we need to table our situation and what we need to be done then that that's fine. But okay. as far as I'm concerned right now, nothing. Everybody, if we, if anything, our 
ambassador cs amina the only uh, the she has i've seen she has participated in a campaign for the corona song by P pmc mm -hmm. that's all i've seen from her but let's wait and see because also we are in kenya and things take bureaucracy and time <laughs> so <laughs> so at this particular point the artist what what would you advise the artist to do now should they jump onto the bandwagon and ride the coronavirus wave or do they just lay low and wait what, what do they do now as a publicist what is your what, advice what is even the wave even you know i mean i really want i've seen to, i've seen um, people like george Ware put out a song liberia's george Ware put out a song about coronavirus oh, Yes. Yeah, I mean, the, as, like I was saying, like I, I said earlier, there's a time I was saying that um, if you can write a song, but a sensible song, please, eh, so that we can pass the message across. Remember, we are talking, we're not talking about artists in Nairobi. Yeah. We are talking about a whole country-wide artist. You're talking about artists who sing in Takana language. You're talking about artists who sing in Ma language, Kikuyu language, Luo yeah. language. You can sing in your own language to help, because remember, there are people who even right now, this corona conversation is still not oh, corona, corona. the people who are saying there's no corona especially guys you know who are in, in shags and everything if you can be able to reach the message to them in a language that they can if you can bring the message home if i may yeah. say perfect go ahead and do that the other time the other thing you can do right now is um, i because also i've been trying i've give, been giving the same advice but again now once i'm in the house and i'm experiencing it it is very difficult to be in a creative space when you're anxious yeah. when you don't know what is going to happen that idea of creating i've removed it from from the list because artists need to be in a space of mind for them to be able to create but right now you can learn about online marketing what can you do you can update your profile you can update your press kit you can update your social media you can know what is going on so do what you can as much as possible to be able to keep yourself relevant but like you've seen the og has been what you got dropping bars and just doing um what do you call it i'm looking for the word freestyling yeah. on instagram if you've seen that so that's calligraph and that's how he's keeping afloat so if you can be in a space to be able to create go ahead and do it if you're not do what you can to be able to keep your brand relevant because it is bad the All situation right. is not good all right, Agnes, stay with me for a bit. I have to take a quick break, but when you come back, I'd like you to enumerate for me, given the opportunity mm. now to suggest to the government, what are the things you'd want them to implement? You've talked about with, with, uh, taking away the withholding tax. What else would you like to see henceforth? And then I'd also like to find out from you, you mentioned sensible songs. We're living in a time when it's, your song either needs to be really good or really bad. <laughs> So you can pick either one of them for them to sell. But we'll do that right after the break. We're taking a quick break here. Agnes Nonsizi is still with me. She's a publicist and a TV presenter. We'll also later on be talking to Krem Dela Krem and Liz Kayemba, who's a clinical psychologist, just finding out how the coronavirus has disrupted the entire industry and what they suggest going forward in order to stay afloat. Stay with Daybreak. We'll be back in a bit.